The work that has been done for the last 20 years is just simply unbelievable. First of all, the groups, schools, teachers, in, in other words, we feel that it never, should never be forgotten that as many people should know about it and should feel with us. The Cape Town Centre, in terms of an educational institution, provides answers or solutions to prejudice, xenophobia, anti-Semitism, of hate. Our job is to make sure people don't forget. I think survivors assist us and support us. We have to do absolutely everything to make sure that we keep the material and we keep it relevant and that we keep the memory going. We've done the rise of Nazis to power and now we're looking at what happens kind of when they're in power and we're looking specifically at the period of the Holocaust itself. History is not only about dates and places and the cause and effects. Whilst important, and it is covered, the, the way it is taught here challenges and questions other aspects, such as morality, choices people make. And that has a very strong link to our own South African apartheid racist past. The main focus for me was that everyone has rights and everyone should be treated the same no matter what skin colour or religion they are, um, that everyone has the same opportunities as other people, no one is superior than other people and that you must give people a chance before judging them. I had recently retired from teaching and I wanted to do something worthwhile um, with my time. I've probably been here for about 10 years and I look forward to every Monday to coming here. I'm constantly amazed by the number of people who come here who say, we've been to Holocaust museums all over the world, but this is one of the best. Some say it is the best, and I always say, of course, we're very proud of it. The exhibition is one of the best small exhibitions in the world. In the way in which it presents information in a, in a condensed and approachable fashion, the way in which it provides an introduction to the totality of the Holocaust and, and its so many dimensions, it does this in, in an extraordinary fashion. The way in which educators are working with their students inside the exhibition, the guided, the care of the guides, the way that four different guides are used with the same group so different voices are heard, the idea of being able to start the exhibition at different points in the history and to wrap that around was something I haven't really seen before. By being able to see all of the victims of the Holocaust and the genocide, it really made us understand that um, what people went through and that um, every, even by discriminating, you can lead to something much bigger and that'll harm many people in the end you can see that the children are transformed from when they start to when they finish their morning at, th at the centre. They start off with having maybe some preconceived ideas and wanting concrete answers to questions they may have. And by the time they leave, there's been a change, a shift in the way they see things or even the way they understand this period of history. And they often more questions at the end than they had at the beginning. Having the opportunity to come here and go through that teaching training really allowed me to confront this history for myself first and I think the teaching strategies that 
being exposed to this kind of training has given me the ability to, to through this history, open up children's minds and getting them to ask the necessary questions or important questions and to have the confidence to do so. The resource is equipping, it's user-friendly, it's enabling, it's, it's engaging, incredibly well written. In this package, I found teacher's aid for grade 9, grade 11. I found the most exquisite magazine, which made the learning so accessible to the students and so interactive. We have been very proud of uh, what the centre does in terms of education and it was so, so nice doing the handover in terms of the books um, and the DVDs and the posters to the teachers and I know that they are going to use it well. I think I was one of the founder members uh, when it was started was 20 years ago. And uh, yes, we come here often. Some movies are very interesting. Some lectures are just as interesting, if not more. I've had the privilege of speaking to a wide range of organizations and people, but I have possibly never before had a group where when I would ask a question about this or that aspect of the Holocaust, and I would ask, raise your hands if Korzak is known to hands went up everywhere. I was inspired by the uh, scope of knowledge that can be built on. Myself and my friends, we do come quite regularly to the Holocaust Museum because there's always something new to learn. This centre has provided a platform for our people and friends of Rwanda, a place where people can come, honour their, their loved ones who perished, and uh, obviously to, uh, to, to commit for a never again to, to happen. And uh, we thank the centre because it has become uh, our home uh, from home. And it's really important in today's world when we're constantly labeling people as other refugees, not accepting them into our country, um, and just having a fear for people who are different from you, um, when it's always important to realize like those differences aren't deep, they're superficial. When the Holocaust Center's collections were handed over to UCT, this collection of papers, or artifacts or objects was put into special care into climate controlled storerooms so that they can be maintained and preserved for posterity. When it comes to memory in the archive, I would say that memory becomes transmitted through the archive and not memory in the literal sense. One was not there. So the archive becomes a means by which for us to not just remember but almost reconstruct. We're reconstructing something that was lost. The word at UCT libraries is discoverability and I think discoverability is heightened not just because of special collections and the access to memory finding it but because of the ongoing interest and passion of the Holocaust Center. So the two kind of work together. We're sitting far away from Europe we're sitting far away in time from, from the Holocaust, but, but in remembering the Holocaust, in remembering its victims, in commemorating its victims, and making them speak to the present, we are doing something which is essential for, uh, to make the Holocaust meaningful. It is very important for second generation survivors like myself, who are really very fresh and in tune with the stories because our generation behind us told us the, their stories to come forward and continue. And then having said that, third generations, they were also here when their grandparents were telling their stories. And they have memories of their surviving grandparents that had been through it. So they too could get involved. It is so important 
for the present generation, for future generations, to learn about it, to know. Unfortunately, we have to know that human beings can stoop and degrade to behave like animals. Let's hope that at least the people who visit will have benefited and leave the Holocaust Center as better human beings when they entered it.